you know, there's an old adage that in order, if you want to break the rules, you have to know them and you have to feel comfortable in them first. I find that to be very true again. You know, there's formal rules that I break all the time uh, because I already know that this rule is not really true. Uh, or, you know, plenty of things that I learned in art school that turned out to be not so. Uh, throughout, from color combinations to conceptual questions to formal directions, uh, I think we fairly routinely do break them, but very, very much with an understanding that we know them. Uh, and we know, and sometimes you can break even unbreakable rules when uh, your when your concept is to break them or when, when it's the concept that wants to create uncomfortableness or when this is really all part of the package. But I found that basically over time I get used to everything and start taking it for granted. And things that were unbelievably interesting and juicy and exciting in the beginning, in repetition, lose that juiciness. And that's true for the little things and that's true for the big things, even for the very large things. You know, if you ask a mom how it was when her daughter said mom for the first time, this is a momentous event. While if that daughter is grown up into a 15 year old and says mom, it is not a momentous moment anymore. Uh, so I find uh, the possibility to break your or to break my own set life in a in a special uh, time period and really explore things that we don't have the possibility to explore. And it doesn't really matter if you do a year every seven years as I do, or if you do six months or every year, or if you do a day a week, or if you do whatever, half an hour every day. Uh, I do think though that it's very important that these times are scheduled. Like if I just have somewhere in the back of my mind, oh, I would like to experiment, it's just not gonna happen. And I think it's not gonna happen because it actually is difficult. It is much easier to return emails than it is to actually think about something new. Much easier. So if I don't really have that completely scheduled, I will always return email. Or I'll cook coffee or I'll, you know, have to go to the loo or whatever. I'll use every excuse to nothing, not having to think. And it's that strange tension that I find in myself and with everybody else that on one hand, I'm complaining that I don't have enough time to think and explore, but at the other time, at the other, on the other side, when I do have the time, I squander it and just don't do nothing with it. So that the scheduled part I think is really important.